Dear people watching and listening, Assalamu Alaikum. Kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support my channel by contributing to my Patreon account so that I can continue making the audiobook series. Is the Bible God's Word? Start of Chapter 2 The Muslim's Standpoint Presumptuous Christians, whether Catholic, Protestant or occultist, of the thousand and one sects and denominations of Christianity, never will you find a missionary who will not, prima facie, presuppose that his potential convert accepts his Holy Bible as the book of final authority on every religious opinion. The only answer the prospective proselyte has is to quote verses from the Bible which are contradictory to the missionaries or debate their interpretations. The Dogged Question When the Muslim proves his point from the Christian's own holy scripture, and when the professional priest, parson or predicant cannot refute the arguments, the inevitable Christian evasion is, Do you accept the Bible as God's word? On the face of it, the question seems to be an easy one, but a simple yes or no cannot be given as an answer. You see, one has first to explain one's position, but the Christian will not give one the opportunity. He gets impatient. Answer yes or no, he insists. The Jews did the same to Jesus 2,000 years ago, except that surprisingly he was not straight-jacketed, as is the fashion today. The reader will readily agree that things are not always either black or white. Between these two extremes there are various shades of grey. If you say yes to his question, then it would mean that you are prepared to swallow everything, hook, line and sinker, from Genesis to Revelation from his Bible. If you respond with a no, he quickly unhooks himself from the facts you have presented and rallies support from his co-religionists in the audience with you see, this man does not believe in the Bible. What right has he to expound his case from our book? With this type of argument, he rests content that he has safely evaded the issue. What is the Muballik to do? He has to explain his position vis-a-vis -vis the Bible, as he ought to do. Muballik is the propagator of Islam. Three Grades of Evidence we Muslims have no hesitation in acknowledging that in the Bible there are three different kinds of witnessing recognizable without any need of specialized training. These are 1. You will be able to recognize in the Bible what may be described as the Word of God. 2. You will also be able to discern what can be described as the words of a prophet of God. 3 and you will most readily observe that the bulk of the Bible is the records of eyewitnesses or ear witnesses or people writing from hearsay. As such, they are the words of a historian. You do not have to hunt for examples of these different types of evidences in the Bible. The following quotations will make the position crystal clear. The first type, A. I will raise them up a prophet, and I will put my words in him, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Holy Bible, Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18. B. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Saviour. Holy Bible, Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 11. C. Look unto me, and be ye saved all the end of the earth, for I am God and there is none else. Holy Bible, Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 22. Note the first person pronoun singular emphasized in the above references, and without any difficulty you will agree that the statements seem to have the sound of being God's word. The second type, A. Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, 
Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? Holy Bible, Matthew, chapter 27, verse 46. B. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Holy Bible, Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. C. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Holy Bible, Mark, chapter 10, verse 18. Even a child will be able to affirm that Jesus cried, Jesus answered, and Jesus said, are the words of the one to whom they are attributed, that is the words of a prophet of God. The third type. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he, Jesus, came, if haply he, Jesus, might find anything thereon. And when he, Jesus, came to it, he, Jesus, found nothing but leaves. Holy Bible, Mark chapter 11, verse 13. The bulk of the Bible is a witnessing of this third kind. These are the words of a third person. Note the underlined pronouns. They are not the words of God or of his prophet, but the words of a historian. For the Muslim, it is quite easy to distinguish the above types of evidence, because he also has them in his own faith. But of the followers of the different religions, he is the most fortunate in this, that his various records are contained in separate books. 1. The first kind, the word of God, is found in a book called the Holy Qur'an. 2. The second kind, the words of the Prophet of God, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are recorded in the books of traditions called the Hadith. 3. Evidence of the third kind abounds in different volumes of Islamic history, written by some of high integrity and learning and others of lesser trustworthiness but the Muslim advisedly keeps his books in separate volumes. The Muslim keeps the above three types of evidence jealously apart, and their proper gradations of authority, he never equates them. On the other hand, the Holy Bible contains a motley type of literature, which comprises the embarrassing kind, the sordid and the obscene, all under the same cover. A Christian is forced to concede equal spiritual import and authority to all and is thus unfortunate in this regard. End of chapter 2